KV-1 versus Tiger-1 World War II was a storm of cataclysmic conflict that swept across the globe, unleashing unprecedented levels of destruction and reshaping the trajectory of humankind. It was a crucible of chaos and innovation, birthing deadly new war machines, tanks, the relentless bear moths of the battlefield, playing pivotal roles in the clash of nations. In this cauldron of conflict, two titanic warriors emerged, bearing the weight of their nation's hopes and fears, the Soviet KV-1 and the German Tiger-1. These armoured giants, iconic and formidable, became the ultimate symbols of their nation's martial might and engineering prowess. In this video, we will peel back the layers of history to compare the KV-1 and Tiger-1. We will explore their designs, delve into their weaponry, assess their performance, and uncover their enduring impacts, revealing the unspoken tales of their legendary confrontations during the harrowing times of World War II. The KV-1 was developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1930s as a formidable response to the evolving demands of armoured warfare. It symbolised the Soviet desire for a heavily armoured tank, one that could endure and retaliate against powerful enemies on the battlefield. This tank underwent numerous modifications and improvements during its development phase, embodying the relentless pursuit of armoured superiority by the Red Army during a time when the tremors of war were beginning to reverberate across Europe. When it comes to armour and structure, the KV-1, known for its thick, well-soaked armour designed to deflect incoming enemy fire, the structural integrity and the resilience of the armour made it a formidable opponent on the battlefield, capable of enduring substantial damage. The robust build of the KV-1 represented the Soviet commitment to defensive strength, ensuring that it could stand its ground against the relentless onslaught of enemy forces, providing a beacon of hope for the infantrymen who fought alongside it. In contrast, the Tiger I, developed by Nazi Germany, was a representation of German engineering, prowess and their strategic inclination towards offensive firepower. The inception of the Tiger I was marked by Germany's realisation of the need for heavily armoured tanks, capable of breaking through enemy lines with overwhelming firepower. The development phase of the Tiger I was meticulous, with a focus on creating a tank that could dominate the battlefield, both in terms of firepower and armour protection, reflecting the aggressive German warfare strategy. The Tiger I was revered for its thick, virtually impenetrable frontal armour and its powerful main gun, capable of destroying enemy tanks at long ranges. The design philosophy behind the Tiger I emphasised a balance between offensive capabilities and defensive resilience. The structure of the Tiger I, with its distinctive boxy appearance, became a symbol of terror for the Allied forces, reflecting the aggressive and unrelenting nature of German warfare tactics during World War II. The KV-1 and the Tiger I show us how different the ideas and needs were between the Soviet Union and Germany during World War II. Looking at these tanks helps us understand more about the unique war strategies and breakthroughs each side made. This was a critical time, and these tanks are key to seeing how each side thought they could gain the upper hand in the war. These tanks were like moving castles, fortified with layers of heavy armour, traversing the rugged terrains and front lines. But what about the firepower encapsulated within these steel giants? The KV-1 was not just a symbol of armoured resilience, but also a bearer of significant firepower. The main gun, a formidable 76.2mm ZIS-5, was a revelation in tank armament during its time. It was capable of piercing through the armour of most of its contemporaries, making the KV-1 a major threat to enemy tanks. This gun allowed Soviet forces to engage enemies from favourable distances, providing a crucial advantage in tank-to-tank -tank engagements and ensuring the KV-1 could stand its ground against enemy advances. To supplement its main gun, the KV-1 featured three 7.62mm DT machine guns. 
these secondary weapons were strategically positioned to fend off enemy infantry and lighter armoured vehicles, providing the KV-1 with the versatility needed to adapt to various combat situations. The machine guns enhanced the tank's capability to maintain battlefield control, preventing enemy infantry from getting too close and offering additional support to the accompanying Soviet infantry. The combination of main and secondary armaments symbolised the Soviet philosophy of creating a balanced and versatile combat vehicle, capable of both defence and offence, reflecting the dynamic nature of battlefield engagements during the period. In contrast, the Tiger I was the embodiment of German engineering, designed for offensive dominance. Its main gun, the renowned 88mm KWK-36, was a marvel of weaponry, capable of eliminating enemy tanks from unparalleled distances. This ability to engage and destroy targets from far beyond their retaliation range made the Tiger I a symbol of fear among the Allied tank crews. The power and precision of this gun were paramount, allowing German forces to dictate the pace of engagements and control battlefield scenarios effectively. To fortify its offensive capabilities, the Tiger I was equipped with two 7.92mm MG34 machine guns. These secondary armaments were essential in providing a defensive layer against infantry and counter-attacking enemy vehicles at closer ranges. The incorporation of these machine guns ensured the Tiger I could maintain a solid defensive stance when unleashing its main gun's destructive power on distant targets. The integration of these secondary weapons with the iconic 88mm main gun exemplified the German approach to armoured warfare, establishing a battlefield presence marked by overwhelming offensive power and steadfast defensive resilience, allowing for control and adaptation to the ever-evolving scenarios of World War II. So, what about their speed and manoeuvrability? The Soviet war machine, the KV-1, while renowned for its armoured resilience and firepower, also had notable mobility attributes. It was powered by a 600 horsepower diesel engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 35 kmh on the road. Although not the fastest, its speed was reasonable considering its heavy armour. This balance between speed and protection enabled the KV-1 to be strategically positioned on the battlefield, allowing it to respond to changing combat scenarios effectively. Regarding terrain handling, the KV-1 was capable of navigating through various rough terrains which was vital on the Eastern Front's diverse landscapes. Its wide tracks and well-designed suspension system allowed for decent mobility over mud, snow and other challenging terrains, ensuring the KV-1 could maintain operational effectiveness in different environmental conditions. This adaptability was crucial for the success of many operations and represented the Soviet Union's emphasis on versatility in tank design during World War II. Conversely, the Tiger I, a symbol of German armoured might, housed a powerful 650 horsepower engine, allowing it to achieve a top road speed of around 38 km per hour. Given its heavy armour and large size, this was a significant accomplishment in tank engineering. The ability to move with such agility allowed the Tiger I to be an offensive spearhead leading assaults and repositioning quickly to respond to threats or opportunities on the battlefield. When it comes to terrain handling, the Tiger I had its challenges. Its massive weight and size often led to difficulties in traversing soft terrains, causing it to be bogged down at times. However, its wide tracks and advanced suspension system provided it with a degree of mobility over rough terrains, allowing it to overcome obstacles and navigate the diverse landscapes of the European theatre of war. The challenges and innovations in the mobility of the Tiger I underline the German pursuit for a balance between firepower, armour and mobility, reflecting the complexities of tank warfare during World War II. Having examined the substantial firepower and notable manoeuvrability of these distinguished armoured vehicles, we shall now shift our focus to their production and deployment. The KV-1 had a substantial production run, symbolising the Soviet industrial might during the World War II era. Over 5,000 units were produced, marking it as one of the most prolific tanks of its time. The numerous variants of the KV-1 were developed to address different battlefield requirements and challenges, reflecting the Soviet endeavour to continually refine and adapt their armoured vehicles in response to the changing dynamics of war. The KV-1 played a pivotal role in several notable battles, prominently featuring in the Siege of Leningrad, 
Its presence was a significant factor in the Soviet Union's ability to resist and eventually repel the Axis forces during this prolonged and gruelling confrontation. The KV-1's resilient armour and powerful armament allowed it to be a formidable opponent, aiding significantly in holding the line against the relentless Axis assaults. The Tiger I had a more limited production run due to its complex design and high production costs. Approximately 1,347 Tiger I tanks were produced during the war. Despite the limited numbers, the Tiger I had several variants developed, each addressing specific battlefield needs and roles, underlining the German focus on specialization and adaptability in armored warfare. The Tiger I is notably associated with several critical battles of World War II. It played a significant role in the Battle of Kursk, one of the largest tank battles in history. The Tiger I's exceptional firepower and armour made it a crucial asset in this intense and decisive confrontation, affecting the overall dynamics and outcome of the battle. The presence of the Tiger I on the battlefield was often a source of concern for Allied forces due to its ability to dominate tank engagements and influence the battle's progression. The KV-1 and Tiger I are paramount examples of the contrasting design philosophies and strategic visions of the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany during World War II. The KV-1, with its balanced approach to armour and firepower, stood as a resilient defender on the Eastern Front. The Tiger I, embodying overwhelming firepower and armour, became a symbol of offensive dominance. The tales of these mechanical beasts echo the relentless and dynamic nature of World War II battles, serving as enduring reminders of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of victory in times of upheaval. Thank you for diving deep into history with us to explore the iconic tanks of World War II, the KV-1 and Tiger I. If you found this journey intriguing and want to explore more fascinating moments from the past, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. We're eager to know what you think about these legendary tanks, so do leave your comments and questions below and let's have a discussion. Until our next historical journey, keep discovering history.